Cancer, what up, though? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general message for the sign of Cancer, wherever that resonates at for you. Sheesh, in your burn chart. Keep in mind, we all have a fourth house. It's part of our birth chart, and time and energy are fluid so take what resonates here in this reading today and leave the rest for someone else um, and these readings are timeless family so whenever you do stumble across this message there will be something here for you to help bring you clarity and confirmation to help empower you to help you align tapping into cancerian energy today i use this um illuminated earth oracle deck along with the keepers of the light oracle deck grabbed a few cards from each Quite a few cards came out from this illuminated earth. Um, it's it's very similar to what the collective energy has been showing as of late, where it does it feels like a realignment. Um, the first two cards to come through in this illuminated earth, we have structure and separate. Then we have meander and healing. We have resistance. Then we have dreams and reflection. So it feels like this realignment is happening. It's feeling like, just like we've been speaking about with the Pluto going through the last degrees of Capricorn, breaking down these structures. Um, it feels like we're we're in between. We're we're, we're in the aftermath of that. But it it really does feel like now is when we're kind of. I'm just seeing collective being pulled back into alignment so to speak so whatever relationships whatever structures whatever situations we're not really serving our highest good you know things have happened and it and it's manifesting differently for all of us but things are happening bottom of the deck we have this tempest so in some cases shakeups or in some cases breakups or um, however this storm energy is kind of manifesting to kind of shake things up a bit happening in order to separate us from these structures and situations that are no longer serving our highest good or that have served their purpose and this is like i said the in-between time the time where we realign with this meander card i always say that it's about our trip down the stream of life right we're all headed to this to this ocean and it's really important to stay present not to be so focused on the past or the future that we we lose the moment right and we get to the ocean and we think back and realize that we don't even remember any of our trip down the stream because we were so focused on getting to the ocean or you know however that manifests for us being so lost in the past or in our little world that we forget that we have this moment that we're breathing that we're blessed right and we always have an opportunity to to do it better and to create something right and with this and there may be some some resistance there may be and you know i feel like we as humans kind of hold on very tightly to our comfort zones right um because of fear and in a million other reasons why we hold on to the things that we know and we usually fight you know tooth and nail to keep that comfort zone um and it feels like we're heading into the unknown we're heading into the new and it can be scary and so it's only natural for parts of us to want to hold on to that person or to that situation or to that version of ourselves or or however right however it looks um, but with the dreams and the reflection card, I'm just seeing this be that in-between period where we are really being blessed with an opportunity to connect to the moment, to our self, our most authentic self, North Node in Aries, and to channel that energy through, to really honor and listen to the downloads, to listen to our heart right now, the crazy ideas, the inspiration, and to really get to tapping in with our power and reflecting on what our dreams would be and what that would look like and what is our heart calling us to do so 
what came through in the light seers here family we have archangel michael coming through first and foremost for the collective and this is all about trusting heaven so this card says you're safe angel angels stand close surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur allow a miracle to occur and then right after that we got the holy spirit which literally says expect miracles this card says remember that only love is real miracles will occur naturally and spirit has your back so double confirmation here and this is the energy basically of whatever is going on in your reality right now um, regardless of how good or bad it may look or feel Things are happening for you at this time. Things are coming into alignment for you. Um, whether the doors are closing, there are doors opening as well. And so we also have this Hilarion card, which is all about divine healing. Definitely feeling the energy of the heart chakra with all of this green here. And this says, honor your sensitivity, retreat to recharge and heal your light can support others so there has been this very prominent message coming through for the collective to retreat um, and actually the retreat card has been coming out for most of the signs it did not come out um, in the illuminated earth oracle for you guys but this card is about retreat as well recharging recalibration healing going into hermit mode and kind of finding your footing in this new energy and then it's bringing through the energy of that straddling worlds card from the shaman's dream which is all about getting used to having one foot in this dimension and one foot in this dimension because things are not fully in alignment yet and there's pieces being moved behind the scenes etc um and so this is what it feels like for cancer it feels really good it does feel like some very uh important healing is happening at this time and again this realignment so with that cancer family i'm gonna pray real quick and then we will dive into your message i've been starting with this double major um which i've been using to grab like a theme for the message and then we'll dive into the tarot and see what spirit has to say today holy divine mother and father great spirit Spirit guides, guardian angels, archangels, ancestors, messages for the Cancer Collective for their highest good. Anything Cancer needs to hear today, anything they need to know, any messages that will bring them clarity and confirmation, any messages that will empower um, my Cancers, any messages that will bring healing, wisdom, understanding, any messages that will help Cancer align with their highest selves, their highest timelines, their best lives, and of course, above all, any messages that will help Cancer align with divine will will be greatly appreciated. All praise and glory forever and ever. This night, this night of cups really wanting to be seen. Um, we'll see what that's all about. What is the theme of Cancer's message today? Please, Spirit, as they are laying this foundation for this new chapter. What's the message for cancer today? Please, Spirit, what's the theme? King of Pence, second time it's it's um, dropped out. So it does feel, and especially with this reflection in dreams, um, and I forgot to mention, on the bottom of the Light Seers, or I'm sorry, Keepers of the Light Oracle deck, we have this Odin Psychic Insight. And there is this message... Um, for for really for the whole collective right now but for you as well cancer that your crown chakra is wide open right now i feel like the collective is growing more and more into um into their highest self and really solidifying that communication between the divine and the physical world and so it really feels like trusting your intuition at this time and that's you know, I meant the same thing when I'm talking about honoring your heart and where you're being guided at this time. What is your heart pulling you toward? Where, you know, where is your um, inspiration leading you at this time? A lot of times we get those crazy ideas and our logical mind comes through and, and we end up when we end up talking ourselves out of something or we end up really overanalyzing things because of playing out every scenario seven of cups energy right playing out every scenario and how things could go wrong and how things and, and blah 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 to where we bind ourselves up eight of swords right so 
there's this prominent message coming through about really honoring and trusting your intuition at this time as well, Cancer. So let's see. Devil five of pence on the bottom of the deck. So it does feel like my cancers are working through and it feels I'm feeling like we're at the ending. We're coming out of some rougher energies. We're setting ourselves free. Again, this structure is being it's crumbling in some capacity, whether this structure was a relationship or a family dynamic or a situation, a job. Um, again, there's just this very clear message where spirits like anything that's happening right now is divine. And it is all in the name of alignment, right? So what do we have here at the heart of Cancer's energy, please, spirit? Beautiful. Wow, you guys. Wow. Two majors out here, Hierophant on the bottom with this Taurus energy, but again, these structures that are no longer serving us, breaking down cancer, and this is helping us to align with this new world, with this new adventure, with this new start, this new beginning that has a lot of potential. It's like whatever you're aligning with right now, it's bringing you toward victory. It's bringing you into this win, but there, there seems to be some resistance or some hesitation here. And, you know, that can that can manifest in many ways. Some of us are just still trying to heal from the chapter that we're coming out of. And the new chapter is here, but it's like that old energy is still weighing on us to a certain degree, right? And that's kind of how I see this Four of Cups where the Divine's handing us this beautiful new opportunity, but these cups are empty now and we're kind of reminiscing having those cups when they were full and gosh, how I wish these cups could be here to see this new cup or however it kind of manifests and is resonating for the collective. Damn, I didn't even recognize or realize the Empress came out as well for the theme of your reading. It must have just fell out sneaky like so we have the empress and the king of pentacles out here as the theme of your reading which is the epitome of abundance here and victory and healed grounded um very stable energy here with the empress and the king of pents so there really is this kind of message or energy here of like expect miracles trust and believe that you are definitely aligning to some type of manifestation wish fulfillment this victory here so let's see what the challenge is for cancer right now hmm. fours may be significant elevens may be significant a lot of fours i'm seeing four 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 what is the challenge for cancer you guys these majors out here beautiful though the challenge seems to be this tower energy three of swords hanged man so again and i feel that's what i feel intuitively some of you are leaving relationships or some relationships have ended or are in the process of ending or you know somebody could have done you dirty here or got down on you or this could just simply be sadness um because this old chapter is over it's done with right however that kind of looks there is this structure that has that is crashing down or that has been broken down in some capacity and um it it is causing us to move on and kind of start building something on our own i feel for for a lot of the collective i feel like <clears throat> at least the cancers that are connecting to this there is definitely a message coming through that some of you are dealing with a romantic relationship in some capacity. If it's not romantic, it's definitely something that's very close to the heart here. Cancer. And also, I'm seeing with this hanged man that whatever this situation you were in, it was part of your soul contract. It was something that you came here to experience in order to evolve and grow on a soul level. I'm going to dive a little deeper into this.
Yeah, so what this really looks on a more energetic level is this is helping you to step into your power. This is really clearing blockages that were stopping you from creating all that you might here in this realm. Nine of Cups, we have the star as well, you guys. This is really about manifesting your dreams. This is really about stepping fully into your power and stepping into your abundance. I'm hearing your birthright, Cancer. So there's something about you... Stand, standing in your power speaking your truth living your authentic your being your authentic self living your authentic life and creating something from that space eight of pentacles that is going to bring a lot of fulfillment here and it almost seems like taking what you've learned through everything you've been through is going to help you in some capacity here when it comes to what you're creating when it comes to stepping into this new world this new energy and being able to use that as a guiding light what do we have incoming please for cancer spirit so a lot of healing happening and this is deep. This is soul level stuff. This is not just healing a hangnail. Or this is like really soul level stuff. Again, that I feel you incarnated to experience. Not only to overcome, but to maybe even help others overcome as well. I see the angels. You got the gang with you. You got the gang with you, Cancer. Like, yo, we're not going to let you fail. We're protecting you. We're guiding you. Archangel Michael taking that sword, helping to cut them cords and, and free us from whatever that devil energy is or was self-limiting beliefs thought patterns generational curses um you know family stuff i feel like a lot of the collective i feel like the collective as a whole in our own way as individuals we're all kind of tapping in with our innermost self our divinity um and realizing that a lot a lot that we've been taught told programmed with conditioned to believe is BS and really a hindrance to us creating what we came here to create. Being all that we can be, right? So this feels really big, you guys. And Pluto and Aquarius, I feel like that's it, right? We the people. Pluto coming through to transform that and so i'm seeing the whole collective as the phoenix rising from the ashes right now keep I, I really do feel like it's a very auspicious time to be here um and i feel honored to be here with you all now you know and as tough as it has been and can get um it's so beautiful because collective is coming through this winning winning and we are the change so it's like we have to first step into our power to create any type of change for the better here in this place right that's what that feels like cancer so let's see what we have incoming for cancer What's incoming for cancer cancer beautiful 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 so I, I see any type of turbulence that you're facing helping to get you into union with your manifestations and your power. You're stepping through this portal. You're taking action. You're, you're honoring that spark. Whatever that spark is, whether it's you um, really creating love in your life or you're creating a business or you're creating a project or you are just moving on, stepping into your power and creating the best life you can for yourself and your loved ones. This is what you're doing. You're riding out of this energy of I'm not good enough. I don't have enough. And you're no longer attracting situations and relationships that are making you feel like this cancer hurt, left out in the cold, not good enough. Um, like you don't have enough, you can't be enough, and you are stepping into your full abundance. You're the, you know, and I'm always saying, I'm sure you've heard me say it before, that the abundance of the cosmos is within each and every one of us, contrary to popular belief and conditioning, right? And 
this to me feels like you are coming into union with your own divinity and you're creating from that space and you are overcoming and this feels like a lot of internal overcoming right that the, the fight as within so without it's it's just as much internal as it is external where we come where we come up to this opposition outside it's the same happening within us and and this really feels like um, an energy of the collective really taking their power back, tapping into their abundance, and coming into union with what it is you desire. What else is incoming? Nine of Pentacles, though, Four of Wands. Some of you are definitely manifesting love or coming into a, a, a space where your love life is feeling blessed, right, and abundant. Some of you are, like I said, creating the financial freedom, and, and there's... Um, abundance blockages being removed at this time and you know that manifests differently as well but whatever tower moments or storms you've been going through have been kind of the hand of the divine reaching into our reality to clear to clear these energies so what else do we have incoming for cancer please spirit thank you A lot of fives, you guys. I'm seeing five, five, five out here, Cancer. I'm seeing the Ace of Cups. We have five of Wands, five of Swords, five of Pentacles. Um, so it does feel like there was people, relationships, where there was betrayal or there was conflict or competition, chaos, strife. Um, this energy of people belittling you or making you, like I said, feel less than. And this is an opportunity to move into your power and blessings, period. And so I feel like the Cancer Collective, a lot of you are, are leaving people in situations behind to some degree. You're cutting the cords. You're setting yourself free. You're like, I, I'm no longer honoring this bullshit contract where there's all of this BS going on here or whatever it may be. No matter what that contract is, um, the things that are not working out, my cancers are really stepping into their power. And here is that cup that was being handed to us in this four of cups. So in the incoming energy, I'm seeing my cancers. We say, you know what? I'm taking this opportunity, right? I'm taking my power back. I'm going to move toward what is fulfilling for me or what is abundant for me or what is working for me, right? No longer am I pouring my time and energy and resources into situations and relationships that are just draining me, taking advantage of me, treating me as less than or whatever it may be. So let's grab some advice for cancer here. I think, okay, seven of pence. What else? Please, spirit. So you guys did get the Ten of Pentacles as well. Emperor Sheesh with the High Priestess. We have one more out here. Ace of Swords, Ten of Pentacles on the bottom. You guys, this is huge, right? Because we had the King of Pentacles at the very heart of your message. That was the message today for Cancer. King of Pentacles, this is about what we're building here in this physical world. This stable, grounded, abundant life. And with the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, your advice is to pour your energy into these good seeds. Whatever, what, what is the empire you're creating? What is your legacy? What are we leaving here after we, after we leave this realm, right? This is about the life that you're building, Cancer. And Seven of Pentacles is all about staying focused on the, on the seeds, on the good seeds, the ones that are going to give you some type of harvest, right? Ten of Pentacles, seven to the ten. You have the eight as well. So you guys already know, I'm going to say, if there's a class you were wanting to take at this time, maybe some of you are already taking those classes, getting those certifications, getting the ball rolling. But for those of you that have been like feeling like, man, I want to take this class or I should get that certification or get that paperwork in or whatever it may be to, to get things in order for this 10 of pentacles, whatever your 10 of pentacles is, now is the time to do it. Here is where the harvest is not has not come to full fruition yet. But you better believe he's putting in this work in order to make sure the harvest is as abundant and fruitful as possible. So with the high priestess and the ace of swords, this is you again, very connected to the divine cancer. You're one of the most psychic, intuitive, divinely plugged in and connected signs of the zodiac water signs have 
a superpower of being able to feel and break down the language of the universe, even for those of us who really are not aware of that yet. If you have heavy water in your chart, you're a superhero, right? You have um, very, your intuition never misses. And cancer, for y'all, it's different. It may not be coming in visions and clear audience downloads. You feel it, it's a cognizance. It's something you know with your whole soul right and so very very psychic very plugged into the divine and this is about you gaining clarity from that through your angels your guides your ancestors your higher self god christ within whatever you feel most comfortable calling it this is you with your crown chakra wide open and gaining this clarity and these ideas and this inspiration and being guided through the compass within you so this is really about following that making that decision speaking that truth um taking that action that you're feeling guided to take because whatever it is i feel like you're being guided to create something or build something that is really really going to be um not only fulfilling but very abundant so i know for a fact some of y'all are like creating a business some of y'all are creating um a sacred space however that looks um some of you are and i know some of you are writing books and so this is really about getting into doing that getting everything in order and going for it and taking care of yourself in the process make sure you're meditating make sure you're getting enough sleep make sure you're writing your dreams down right because i'm seeing these downloads coming through for you in your times of stillness and and we have to be present and still enough to root those downloads down into the physical here and so you're in between worlds cancer and you're releasing anything that is blocking your best life let's grab some oracle cards i think honoring your intuition right now being as present as you possibly can taking it easy is really where it's going to be at um in order to get everything together within to let that channel through and solidify without spirit really wanting you to know that you have so many blessings here nine of cups nine of pence ten of pence and i think you had the ten of cups as well could be tripping and i feel like the whole collective has been getting these nine of pence ten of pence nine of cups ten of cups in all of the readings lately so it does feel like collectively we're in between worlds and spirits like look take it easy and and get it together be ready right so what's the message for cancer thank you closing the door and then we have in the hand cancer the universe is your partner i want you to pause if you need to take a look at these cards <clears throat> soak this energy in drop it down in the comments what this energy makes you feel not just intellectually but what do you feel cancer you guys that's your superpower tap into that drop your downloads in the comments um, it's been really dope hearing your guys' reading your guys' downloads and seeing you guys interact with each other. Maybe your download will help um, one of our brothers or sisters that are watching this reading as well. What does this energy make you feel? This is where we're at, Cancer. Closing the door and in the hand of the divine. I think, yeah, I was going to say, I think closing the doors of five as well. So my cancers, some of y'all seeing five, five, five for sure. I'm definitely seeing nines out here as well and fours. So five and fours, nine as well. So you may be seeing nines. You may be seeing fours. You may be seeing fives. Let's read this closing the door. When closing, when the closing door shows up, it's a call to recognize an ending, to terminate a relationship, job, task, or situation that's been dragging on far too long. Unlock the cage you've been trapped in and shut the door behind you. It's not the time to worry about what others might think or feel. Instead, break with routine. Consider what you think and how you feel and be true to your heart's calling. 
crazy. That was exactly what was coming through about honoring that. It's time to walk out the door. If you do not see a door, but just a solid wall in front of you, family, ask for assistance and expect miracles. Muster the courage to say no more. Remember as well that no one needs to be wrong in order for us to do what we known we needed to do for a long time. If the door to a project or relationship has been closed to you, stop knocking on it. You've tried that already and no one answered, at least not in the way you would have liked. Take this as a gift, as difficult or painful as it might be. Move on. Every door that shuts is an invitation to find another way, another path to your destination. It's better to recognize this earlier rather than later. How many of us leave a relationship or job years after we knew it was time to move on? Stop wallowing in the pain and lingering on the reasons why things did not work. It's keeping us from our greater calling. Bow deeply before that closed door. Give thanks to the lessons and set yourself free. Set yourself free. Family devil, ace of swords. Shing! collective breaking free we're going to read this holy spirit as well and being guided to expect the unexpected cancer expect miracles a real turn turnaround is possible now angels are dancing around you leave behind thoughts memories and feelings that are no longer serving you and remember the love that you are move into your heart and allow that love to shine out into the world then miracles can happen spirit i think we're going to grab one of these white light oracle cards as well i've really been enjoying these messages from this deck so let's grab one of these spirit what's the message for cancer today and then we will grab a message from Ma before we tap out. Cancer, thank you so much for being in this space with us. Hope there was something in this message that helped. Um, because this really feels, like I said, this is a very auspicious time. It feels really good. It really feels like this is this is true alignment, right? And uh, and really a new world that we're stepping in and, and really creating. So it is, you know, the unknown that we're all kind of moving in. Ishtar, Lion's Gate 888. What's the message for Cancer? Thank you, Spirit. Dakini of Infinite Light and Seven Blessings of Eve and the Oracle of Chaldea, which came out in Sage's reading, I believe, um, yesterday. So if you do want to um, hear the definition or explanation of this card, feel free to um, hop on Sage's reading and zoom to the end and, and listen to that. But we're going to read this number nine, Dakini of Infinite Light. <clears throat> okay. Seek and you shall find. Find the teachers and teachings which feel pure to your heart. But remember, it is the inner truth of you that will ultimately set you free. Do not give your power away, but do trust in a greater guiding wisdom at work in all aspects of your life. Ask for help from an enlightened spiritual being in any matter of concern, and help shall be granted. Believe in all problems can be resolved, and a more graceful life experience is opening up for you now. A Dakini is a supernatural feminine being who inspires spiritual practice, guides one to actualize siddhis or spiritual powers and abilities, and teaches the inner path of awakening. She protects us from negativities that restores our vital energies. She teaches us how to act with wisdom. She can be a demanding teacher, requiring us to reflect upon the mysteries she presents through our dreams. You guys, reflect dreams somebody needs to hear this i trust that you're still here definitely pay attention to your dreams and i mean in the waking state and in the in the dream state okay in the sleep state um, because there's something for someone about what is coming through in your dreams i feel like for some of you you're being activated or you're doing some important soul work in um, dream time she teaches us, okay, 
she presents through our dreams, inspirations, and meditations. There we go. Got a little ahead of myself. Then proceed to unravel them. As we do so, we develop our inner capacities to become stronger. These wild feminine creatures can be gentle or fierce or a combination of both. When she appears in a reading, <clears throat> travel your path and explore your questions about spirituality and awakening with confidence, for much progress can be made as you do so. Some Dakinis are fully enlightened, whilst others are still in their process of awakening. Truly enlightened beings have the ability and desire to assist all other beings to enlightenment. They know how to lead us along the path because they've walked it before us. Beings of lesser development may not have such helpful intentions, but even if they do, how can they show us the way when they themselves have yet to discover it? Truly enlightened beings can and do help us in many ways, from solving problems we encounter in our daily lives to, to ensuring we are taking the most beneficial steps on our spiritual path. They are our spiritual family, guiding and assisting us from place of love and skillfulness. The Dakini of infinite light, Marisi, is one such being. Marisi is connected with the rays of light from the sun. She's sovereign over all lesser beings. Her many gifts include the capacity to guide one into enlightenment, to heal and repair that which has been separated or broken, and to provide protection during vulnerable transitions. And I do see that you're separating from things that were broken and also healing through the through this transition um, whenever we venture beyond known worlds. And also from misfortune and negativities of all kind, including being manipulated, controlled, or exploited. She resonates with material abundance too and is associated with providing the prosperity we need to live a happy life, long life, a happy, long life life and making progress on the spiritual path this divine goddess of the sun brings light on all levels we need light to see clearly otherwise we feel confused as to which steps if any to take this is just as true on an emotional and psychological level as it is on the physical light helps us see what is happening rather than making assumptions when we see what is happening clearly, we have the opportunity to make the best choices. The oracle of the Dakini of infinite light augurs an increase of light in your life. This can include a lightening up after a difficult time, an increase of clarity from a helpful healing and higher perspective, or a clear positive path opening up through a troublesome time. Her appearance signifies sacred victory. Call upon her and do not give up. That's exactly what we see here as well, family, with the ace, the four of wands. Here with this five of wands as well, and then the six of wands. Cancer, this is your time for sacred victory and overcoming all opposition. Stepping through this portal into union with not only your highest self, but your highest timeline family and your most fulfilling and abundant reality so this is really really beautiful really beautiful energy and i feel like my cancers are taking their power back in a big way and being presented with such a blessing of an opportunity so that's very exciting and that it has been the tone that has been the vibe of the collective readings right now family so i hope y'all are ready i know y'all are rocking with me um, we're going to grab a message from Ma before we tap out, before we take our breath. Um, what is the message, Divine Mother, for the Cancer Collective, for the Mother of the Zodiac? Thank you. Wow, you guys. So it says, no matter what, this is Davy Makali. This says, no matter what you've done, no matter how many mistakes you've made, Kali is here for you always. Yours is the safety and sanctuary of her divine love. She's your soft place to fall and your kindest and most enthusiastic advocate. Let her shift your experience from endless tasks and ever greater expectations into sweet relief and comforting connection. And then we have Kaladada, which says, when hope is lost, and a way forward cannot be sensed. Kali's love will find a way. 
If the path does not yet exist, then it shall be created. If you cannot see or feel how you can move from where you are to where you want to be, then Kali's wisdom and grace will manifest at the perfect time to provide what is needed. You guys, that's very similar to that closing doors closing the door card where it said if you can't see the path one is going to be created so i see that some of my cancers are maybe even coming into a place where you're feeling a bit hopeless um and this is really the divine's confirmation coming through like again with with that archangel michael card it's like yo we're with you we're guiding you we got you so i do feel like there's a call for trust here um, and also seven of pentacles of really staying focused, staying positive and not letting um, what may be looking like a lack of a path forward or lack of options or whatever, not letting that um, bind you up right i'm really seeing the divine coming through on your behalf cancer and really helping you get to where you need to be um so follow that trust that before we tap out fully cancer we're going to take a deep cleansing breath we're going to use our will and our visualization our imagination to draw in this divine cosmic energy this prana picture it as white or gold light filling up your body filling up your aura pause hold the breath at the top imagine yourself glowing as bright as you can and then as we release we're going to exhale forcefully like we're filling up one of those little water balloons watching any negativity any doubt any fear any anxiety any anger any resentment any type of blockages or lower frequencies we're going to picture all of that in the form of black or gray smoke or static or whatever kind of comes most naturally to you we're going to release all of that so the divine can help us transmute it into this light and wisdom and love. So first things first, Cancer, let's take a deep, full breath out, completely clean, clear, and empty your lungs, and then we'll get this fresh breath in. So go ahead and breathe out. Breathe in. Hold it, squeeze, move a bundle, lift that energy up your spine, now pull it down, lock it into your heart space, watch yourself glowing brighter and brighter, and release. Cancer family, love and appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for being in this space with us. I hope this message has found everybody well and in great spirits, and I hope you all have a blessed rest of your day. I'm ready for these blessings, Cancer. I'll catch you beautiful beings on the next one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Adios.